confused. Why? I just found you attractive and I came to tell you. I don't think I've ever had this happen really? to me in my life. Really? No one's ever come up and told you you look nice. No, not quite like this. Oh. Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social talking to you from Chelsea and today we've got something interesting for you. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, can I approach a woman when she's with a guy? What are the norms around that situation? And so what I did is I went out and experimented with this because most of you are going to think, oh that's her boyfriend, right? And I shouldn't come and speak to them. So in the following video, I'm going to show you how you can respectfully go up and meet a girl when she's with another guy. So I just went over and I asked, are you two in a relationship? Because when you actually think about it, excusing yourself, saying, excuse me, are you two in a relationship? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing inappropriate about that. She can say yes, or he can say yes, in which case I'm gonna give her a compliment and then leave them alone. Or they could both say, no, we're best friends, or he could be the gay best friend. So by asking that question, you're being direct and you're figuring out the logistics and the base scenario of the situation. Sorry, can I, help, can I ask a question? Are you two in a relationship? Because well, I think she's beautiful, so I was, I was going to say hello. I think you're yeah. very pretty. Hi. Hi, that's very kind. Very kind of you. Very welcome. I'm so, so confused. Why? I just found you attractive and I came to tell you. I don't think I've ever had this happen really? to me in my life. Really? No one's ever come up and told you you look nice. No, not quite like this. Oh, not quite like okay. This. It's very forward, I know. But I... Um, I Right, so in this, uh, in this case, um, you know, it was a bit awkward, obviously. Naturally, you're going to face awkward situations. This one, when she's with a guy, is naturally more likely to, to result in an, an, a slightly awkward start, right? Because the guy's there. Um, and so, you know, I sort of had to fill the conversation. So again, it's like objection handling early on, saying, I know it's very forward. Um, but it's better than meeting someone on an app, on Tinder or something like that. So it's kind of making your intent clear that you find her attractive and instead of going on an app to do the dating, you'll actually come out in person, you've got the confidence to go up. Awkwardness isn't really a problem here. Um, you, you, you get a free pass on being a little bit sketchy or you know, not knowing exactly what to say all the time because the move that you've made is very confident, right? And very direct. So you're already getting those brownie points, so to speak. I mean, otherwise, Tinder or something else, isn't it? Like an it's, be it's better to meet in person than on an app or in a bar. That's it? I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm, Yo, I'm we're I'm Hi, Sam. Sam. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. Nice to Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Um, I'm actually on my way to South Africa. Okay. So I'm Cape Town or Joburg? Cape Town. Well, first Joburg, but I'm then Cape Town. Yeah. Okay. Are you coming back? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so confused. Are you? Huh? Why? Why are you confused? Um. Is, is this really? Is this really unusual? Uh, yeah, dude, I find this a bit inappropriate. Like, really? It's all good to say you look really nice and have a great day. Yeah. Like, that's being respectful. Mm -hmm. But to be like, it's better not to meet on apps. You're kind of alluding that you what? Like, want to meet someone in like a dating sense. Whereas I would rather just be a gentleman and say you look so nice today. Have a great day. But I'm, I might want to ask her for a number so that yeah, we can yeah. maybe go on a date. And I don't know how you do that if you don't. Uh, cool. So at this point, um, the guy chimed in and chipped in. And at that point, I, you sort of know that he is also attracted to this girl and he's trying to date her because he tries to come from the virtue signaling angle of you could have just been a gentleman and given her a compliment, um, but now this is disrespectful, which basically means in that case, and understandably from his perspective, uh, it basically means I like this girl and you're treading on my territory and now I'm getting defensive. So you get a sort of passive aggressive response that's like, oh, this is just disrespectful. You should be a gentleman. If anyone talks about how you should be a gentleman, it's very likely that they're trying to, um, they're trying to nice their way into um, a romantic situation with someone uh, and it's probably not going to go anywhere fast. Next. But I'm, I might want to ask her for a number so that yeah, we can yeah. maybe go on a date. And I don't know how you do that if you don't. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just being honest. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, no, I don't no, think I'm good. being disrespectful. Wait, I'm sure I'm, I'm, walk, okay. saw you walk past. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. just go that way. Shame. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. okay. I am. Um, so uh, you, we're just friends, just, but we just. Yeah. Yeah. We just like met like three days ago, cool. and cool, I cool. quite like her, and I think she's really great. Oh, so that's your angle. Okay. I got. Very. You can just say I really like her, and then I'll I'll go away. You don't need. So um, at this point in the interaction, he shows his hand, he shows his cards, which is essentially that he's in, in pursuit of this girl. Um, 
and uh, and that I'm treading on his territory. So, uh, so I called him out on virtue signalling earlier and talking about respect. When the reality of the situation is that he's just trying to get in her pants, um, and he was using um, the gentleman line as a, as a way to deter the potential threat from the situation. Yeah, got, you can just say I really like her and then I'll, I'll go away. You don't need to make it about me being disrespectful. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not upset. Um, so is it really is it disrespectful of me now to ask for your phone number? It, or, or? Well, this is you are you are driven. I'm, I'm like very proud of you. That's yeah. very thank impressive. you. Thank you. Um, but, but it's it's somewhat pointless because I'm I'm I've just finished Leaving my doctorate and I'm going mm. to the states to do. Okay, cool. Do you like London? Do you think you'll come back or is this your last ever London experience? I feel like a million beautiful women in London all there, the time. I'm not still, I'm literally just having a conversation now. Um, okay. but I like London, I think it's just... So at this point, you know, she said she's not coming back. Uh, I'm not one to, you know, beg for a number. I, I don't really care. The point of this interaction is to kind of demonstrate that it's okay to go and talk to someone regardless of who they're with if you can do it in a way that's not disrespectful to them, right? You have the right to go and find out what someone's situation is if you're not putting them in a position of fear or danger. Um, and so when she says, I'm just prob going away and I'm probably not coming back, at that point I'm not going to just ask, you know, keep asking for our phone number, but I'm also not just going to say, right, okay, see you later. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that, but I just prefer to leave people a little better than I than I came, right? And I'd rather not just abruptly end it when she doesn't want to give me her contact details. I'm happy to just have a little conversation, um, you know, make it make the interaction cool, have a little bit of a connection, and then go after that. Um, yeah, it's quite cold. It's really cold here. Really yeah, cold. South Africa is uh, warm, isn't it? South Africa is somewhat more tropical. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a while to visit my family. Yeah. Like, no plans. For Okay. Um, not, not in the, in the no, 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 I completely get it. I understand your situation as well. I, was, I didn't intend to be disrespectful. I just got to be honest. As a, no, it's cool, man. Have what a lovely day. Sam. Sam. Nice to Take meet care. you. Keep well. Cheers, mate. Take care. Best of luck in the future. Keep Cheers. Well. Take care. So then at the end, yeah, since she's going away to South Africa, I'm not going to keep pursuing the phone number but it's nice to just have a little conversation maybe you can learn something maybe you can cheer up someone's day and you can hear from the way that she's speaking she's not offended she's not upset by it um, she goes on about how she respects the confidence she respects the, the courage to come up and say hello to her and in many ways she's completely uh, dis disagreeing or disaligning her herself with the perspective of the guy that's interested in her but look you don't necessarily just want to come in and try and destroy their relationship if it's not going anywhere um, with you. Uh, so at that point, you know, you don't need to be too disrespectful to the guy. Just say, you know, good luck, have a nice time. One important thing to note that you can do in that situation will be to ask the guy if he minds whether she gives you her number. Because by doing that, you put him in a position where if he says yes, then, you know, she feels much more free to go and do that. And if he says no, then she feels like he's sort of getting in her way and being controlling, right? Throughout that interaction, the guy presented himself as feeling like he had some power to control the way she was going to behave and his sort of virtue signalling behaviour was a reflection of that possessiveness that's to come. So if anything, I think that probably likely gave her a picture of what her future might look like with that guy. So if nothing else, maybe I've saved her a bit of, a bit of time and effort in the future um, with that interaction. But look, I'd encourage you guys, don't go in to just try and destroy something, to destroy a relationship or a date or anything like that. But if you see a girl you like, no matter who she's with, there is a way to approach that girl in a way that is kind and respectful, um, and you're going to learn a lot from it, right? You're going to overcome your fears and the sort of instilled defenses and blocks that you have against approaching a girl with a girlfriend, with a guy friend, maybe with a family member. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a way to adapt to every situation. So I hope this interaction showed you um, how you can do that. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing the awkward social occurrence of uh, approaching a girl when she's with a guy. It doesn't have to be perfect, but don't have fears about it. And if you do, overcome them with courage. When I do my social recharge courses, the next one is the 9th, 10th and the 11th of June. We go to all the 
best places in London and I teach you guys how to perfect this approach, how to approach beautiful women in the daytime, the kind of women that you dream about, that you want to be with, using this simple system, keeping the interaction simple and open. The next one, as I said, 10th, 11th of June and 12th of June, July, that is. We're gonna be going around Bond Street, central London, a group of guys, up to four individuals. Two spaces are taken, we've got two spaces left. I'm predicting that they're all gonna go in the next couple of days. So if you're interested, drop me a message and we'll see if we can sign you up from that. Uh, it's gonna be the three days. We've got another great coach, someone that I, I've been working with a lot lately. He's a fantastic coach, three to four other guys. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing time. So if you're looking to recharge your social skills and get back into the dating game, after the coma that is COVID-19, then join me on the Fluid Social Social Recharge course Friday to Sunday, the 10th, 11th and 12th of July. I look forward to seeing you there. Sam out.